Okay, episode two of the shipwreck series. Um, what we want to do is um, head to our workbench and we want to get a compass. Now for that we're going to need to get two iron sheets. So we go to the general tab, iron sheets, and for that we need an anvil. So we go to the anvil, we got um, two iron ingots, we need 16. We need another 14. So it's going to be a while before we can actually get that. Um, what we'll do in the meantime is to set up the primitive shelter. We're going to need uh, four saplings and 32 sticks. So let's quickly go off and uh, cut down some trees. And instead of planting the saplings, we'll keep those. Actually... Okay, unfortunately we don't get saplings from the trees that are growing, so we'll go to the, uh, the bigger trees. Oh, look at this. We've got some cotton, uh, some uh, corn. Grab that. I don't remember seeing that there before. Okay, cut this tree down. Okay, so we've got one sapling, we need another three. Oh, that's heavy. This is weeping beach. Take a while to cut through this. A pretty sturdy tree. Okay, no others. Get up to these two over here. And once we've got those then I'll head back and the iron ingots should be ready to take out of the uh, furnace. Okay, one, two, three, that should be enough. So we'll head back. Hopefully today we will um, create some uh, farm tools so we can start growing a farm. Are we going here? This is all done. Shut that down. Um, let me just check so for the anvil. I just need the iron ingots. Okay. more of them in.
Oh, we're going at the back here. Ah, uh, seven percent. So we'll need to put some more fuel in. Okay, that should keep us going for a while. Just wondering if I can um, salvage that ship. I uh, might wait a while to see if I get rescued before I do that. If we have a look, um, we've now got 10 iron ingots to do the anvil. I need another six, so once the ingots are done with this one, I should be able to create the the anvil, then I can create the compass, then I'll create the, um, the tent, and then I can head off uh, looking for um, some more food. I'm just going to quickly go up here to see if there's any apple trees or anything up here. Take a quick uh, walk up this hill here. I'm not seeing anything that looks like an apple tree at the moment. Quite a steep hill to get up, so I probably won't risk that. I don't want to fall down and break a leg. Um, might just head down. I'm not seeing too much in the way of food. So we're going to have to probably travel some distance to find some seeds. I'll quickly have a look over the side here. some more potatoes I'll come back to that once I have a sickle so I can uh, grab the seeds from it okay some more potatoes there Um, the temp, I'm going to pick that up later. So yeah, not seeing any apple trees. There might be some a little further back that way. Okay. So there's a couple of things around that I can collect to start, start a little farm. If I can find some more corn, that would be good. The first rule of survival is to 
have a look around at what the resources are that you've got. There's the good good view of the Catalina that um, has hit a rock and uh, capsized. Got no idea where any of the crew are. Here we go. What is this? Is that apples or cherries? Ah, it's just apples. Okay, that's good. Um, we're gonna grab a couple of these. Get our food level up. Up to 100, perfect. So two apples uh, pretty much satisfies 50% uh, of our, our hunger. See the trees that I planted in the previous episode are starting to grow. It is done. Let's uh, turn that off. If that's cool, get the rest of the iron out. And back on. Now what I want to do is just um, head down to the workbench. So we go to tools, uh, sorry equipment, compass, we need two iron sheets. of the anvil isn't it? Okay, create the anvil. Let's stick the anvil down here. Um, what next would we'll do? Two iron sheets. That's got the anvil. Right that. Equipment, compass. Okay. So now we've got the compass. Which uh, isn't pointing to the spawn location that I've set up. So what I need to do is to go back into the workbench, and we need to create the primitive shelter. So we need 32 sticks. We're probably going to need more than that. Okay, come to shelter. And we'll 
put it down near the near the fire. Okay. Get the compass back. Now if we click on F, hold it down, we can now set the spawn. And now that little golden needle in the center will point to our shelter. So we can now travel... Why is it not pointing to it? Uh, let's move this to equipment. Now it works. So you'll notice that the um, when I had it in the toolbar, it wasn't pointing to the shelter. So what you have to do is to open up, remove, uh, move the compass to your equipment slot. Once it's actually in there, then it's going to point to your shelter. So you just got to make sure you're going to do that before you leave, or else uh, you could get uh, seriously lost. Okay, that's going to be a while yet. Um, let me just take a quick wander over this way. I check out the tree on the other side. I don't think it's an apple tree, but there might, there might be one hidden behind the hill. In a field of flowers. You can see this is a fairly long island and the Catalina that you see there obviously came through the this river here and then somehow got uh, caught up on rocks. Not too sure how that would have happened but um, okay. So probably with uh, looking for food, I'll, I'll head that way and I'll uh, pick up the uh, potatoes. I'll need to grab some more tools before we head off. I'd like to find out how long it takes for apples to grow back. Um, hopefully in the next episode or two, the bee will have grown some more apples. Those are the trees that I planted in the last episode, want to grow. Okay, turn that off. We've got eight ingots. Get that going. So what I need is um, a sickle. And we'll put that into position three. Okay, so we are pretty much uh, ready to head off. I'm going to have to create um, 
water source up the uh, up the top here so I don't have to go all the way down to the water at the moment the sea water is drinkable that will obviously change in a coming uh, update Hey, 91.99, perfect. It was um that corn. I just wanted to see where that where that was. I think it was over here. It might not have been this far out. When I said next, I'll um, grab the corn and grab the seeds and then start planting the, the corn. The so growing food is the next priority. I think I went this far. So we got some potatoes here, so let's get the sickle out. Okay, two potatoes, three saplings. So we'll start growing potatoes first off. check these trees here see if there's any apple trees if so I'll knock one down I'm sure I think it's just a growing tree I did see some hemp as well I'm gonna have to try and work out where that was this could be it here okay Okay, two saplings, eight hemp fibers. What's this over here? Looks like um, watermelon. And two watermelon seeds. More hemp here. So we will be using the hemp to grow cotton. So you can see as, as we travel further, if we didn't have the compass with us, uh, we would be terribly lost. There's some corn here. We'll cut that down. That gives us two corns, two saplings. Let us find some tomatoes. Might, might, uh, is that tomatoes there? Looks like it. Perfect. Okay, so I pretty much uh, got what I was hoping to get. So we got um, two saplings for tomatoes, 
take on um, two, two of the uh, three potatoes, the four hemp, and I think that was about it, uh, watermelon seeds as well. So we got uh, a good starting position for our farm. So we will head back. Um, so if we get the compass out, this will show directly how to get back um, that little gold needle right in the middle. Anyway, I'm going to finish the episode. Uh, when we come back for episode 3, we will be back at the camp. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And I will be back uh, later on today or tomorrow for the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you then. Bye-bye.